Today in the bunker, we're going to make the last of the V8 interceptors. Alright, so this is a Stan Johansson kit. Uh, Stan has a lot of really neat stuff. Really, really, is the hashtag there. Um, it's not for everybody's tastes. Uh, a lot of it is kind of a, a style that seems maybe a bit dated now. But I really enjoy his figures. I've got a, a ton of them around here, and a bunch of them are going to be painted for this project. Um, this is a kit that I bought from him several years ago. Uh, you can tell because it's $12, and now on the website it's $14. So we're going to go over it. I'm going to take this out of the packaging and wash it because it's resin. And we'll get it assembled, and then we'll prime it and paint it. So we'll be right back. Okay, so the kit itself doesn't have all that many parts. Um, you've got your main body, and then your fuel drums that go in the back. Your engine, of course, goes there, and all your wheels, your tires. So, this is set up for 20 millimeter. Um, so it scales pretty much with a lot of the other Hot Wheels cars. Um, some of these are huge. I imagine that this... Uh, probably wasn't too far off that comparison to a 74 Charger. So um, we're going to run with it. I think it'll look really good when we're done. So let's get this washed and then we can put it together. Okay, so the kit itself doesn't have all that many parts. Um, you've got your main body and then your fuel drums that go in the back. Your engine, of course, goes there and all your wheels, your tires. So. This is set up for 20 millimeter, um, so it scales pretty much with a lot of the other Hot Wheels cars. Um, some of these are huge. I imagine that this uh, probably wasn't too far off that comparison to a 74 Charger. So um, we're going to run with it. I think it'll look really good when we're done. So let's get this washed and then we can put it together. All right, so we've got that washed off. I just used some uh, mildly warm water and some dish soap. And I'm going to do a little bit, there's a little bit of cleanup to do here just by the nature of how this is cast. So I'm going to use mainly an X-Acto knife and maybe a file to try and clean up these edges at the bottom. And that's just the nature of casting resin like this. I've done quite a bit of it, so I'm used to it. It's, it's not a problem. It's easy to clean up. This is a, a very forgiving material. So let me get our file and we'll just try to neaten up that edge. And you don't want to go hog wild on it, but Okay, so we're going to do that, and then I'm going to take a, a hobby knife and go through here and clean off those little tabs that are in there. I don't believe those are supposed to be there. But uh, anyway, all right, let's get that done, and we'll be back. One safety note, when you file this or sand it, you don't want to breathe that dust. It's kind of yucky, so be careful. Okay, so a little bit of quick cleanup, and it's ready. Now, at this point, this, this car is set up as it was in the Road Warrior because the bottom of the fairing is gone, but it still has two tanks. If you wanted to do a Fury Road build, just put on one of the tanks and then put a bunch of junk on that one side to kind of fill it up. And that's the main difference. Um, visually, that's enough on the tabletop. You'll be able to see that. And if you're uh, a Road Warrior nerd, then you'll you know instantly know which movie that's from. I'm gonna do it as the Road Warrior just because I, I want to see it with the two tanks, but you could do it either way and it would probably look fantastic. So uh, let's get it glued together with some super glue and we'll be right back. Okay, another note, um, the small bit, this engine with the blower, um, not a super fantastic cast in this one. So we may end up having to do a little bit to that, but it's, it, it's on a piece of basically flashing is how it's mounted. And uh, you have to be very, very careful as you cut that away around the bottom. But it's not, you know, as long as you're cautious, it'll be fine. 
and uh, we may try to remake the pulley and belt for the blower. So we'll keep working. And on that engine, you just want to kind of file that base down so that it fits in that slot. All right, so we'll attach that with some glue and put on the other bits and be back. And much like the motor, the wheels are also, you have to kind of undercut them into that flash. Same thing with the tanks, but they're a little more forgiving. Um, the wheels, I found that you've got to, you cut them away and then you'll have to kind of file them to sort of taper them in a little bit and that'll uh, give them the correct appearance. So it's a little fiddly, but it's not hard. So we'll be right back. And before you put the wheels on, once you've got them prepared, make sure that your, um, the, where they're going to go, and my, the name escapes me, the wheel wells are flat inside. I had to do a little bit of judicious filing in there to flatten one of them out. So just test that before you glue it and you'll be fine. All right, so there it is with the wheels on. Just be sure to center them in the wheel wells, otherwise they look a little funny. But, uh, all right, so we'll get ready to prime this and uh, we'll be right back. All right, that's a couple of light coats with a spray can. And I'm gonna go in and touch up. There's a couple of spots where the spray didn't get down in and I didn't feel like putting 27 thick coats of paint on here trying to get it. So I'm gonna thin out some black paint maybe with a little bit of wash in it and get that to flow into those areas where that primer did not cover and then we'll start trying to paint this. Alright so we got that wash paint mixture put in there you're still gonna find probably some spots where you'll have to touch it up as you go. That's fine. It's not a problem. All right, so let's let that dry and then we'll start to put some paint on it in earnest. All right, so I'm gonna start doing the windows. I'm gonna pick those out with that Vallejo gray black that mine is, you can't even read the label, but anyway, it's um, it'll help differentiate that from the body work. So we'll put that on. All right, so we'll just very carefully lay that in there. And it's easy enough to touch up if you go outside the lines because you just put some black where you don't want the gray, but neatness does count here. And I don't know how well that shows up on camera, but it, it is a bit lighter than the surrounding bodywork. All right, so we'll do that all the way around and we'll be right back. Okay, so I went ahead and the windows are done. I also applied that same paint to the tires just to try and differentiate them a little. And they'll pop out a little more when we do some dry brushing and whatnot. Um, I'm gonna pick out a few more details. We'll do the motor and the exhaust pipes. And I need to go look up what the rear of this looked like. I'm not sure if it's all blacked out or if there's there's any shininess to it, but anyway, um, we'll start on those. If you've been watching my videos for any length of time, you'll know that I have a tendency, a bad one, to do things out of order, uh, such as I forgot we need to add a spoiler to the rear of the roof here, so we're going to have to fabricate that and glue it on. And I went and looked at some images of the rear. It is blacked out except for where the tail lights are so we'll try to paint those in very carefully and I also went and fished around in my bit box because there's supposed to be a spare tire and at least a couple of jerry cans back here so we're gonna add that I'm sure I got something in here that'll work so let's find something to build the spoiler with and we'll get that attached and we'll be right back so I fabricated a spoiler out of plastic card and lost most of the footage doing it but uh, here's a what I could recover so Spoiler. All right, so that's a little better. Um, got everything at least blacked out at this point, and we'll pick out some more detail. I also picked out the headlights. Uh, used a base of that same black gray underneath, and then mixed 
some lighter gray and some white and uh, added that. It's kind of a almost a bone color I think at certain point because it's faded plastic but anyway it helps sort of define that and uh, we'll do the tail lights here in just a moment and we'll start picking out some more of these details and uh, really kind of make this thing pop. So we'll be right back. All right, so we got pretty much all the main details picked out. Uh, did the motor, did our exhaust pipes, our gas canisters, our tire, uh, our gas tanks in the back got a little bit of highlighting, did our headlights, did our tail lights, which some of these I don't know that they're going to show up super well on camera, but they, the details are there and you can see them. So, all right, so I'm going to let all of that dry really well and then we will start with our weathering. All right, so I think everything's set up well enough we can begin to weather this. I'm going to start with some nutmeg. I'm going to sponge it on along this the lower body panels and up and around the back so that's that that dirt just flying around and then once that's done I'm going to put it as a wash inside the wheels to try and accentuate that and then once that's all dry then we'll go back and hit it with some maple sugar tan as a dry brush all over the model and just give it a really scruffy dirty appearance so uh, be right back all right so there's our initial dirt that we're going to put on there. Kind of sponged it on and put a little bit of a wash inside the wheels there. So once that sets up good we're going to go back and do some dry brushing with some maple sugar tan and that will really scruffy it up. So we'll be back. And there it is the last of the V8 interceptors. It was a lot of fun to do. Um, I encourage you, if you're interested in this car, get that kit from Stan Johansson. Um, he's easily found on the interwebs, and I'll put a link in the description below. So I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this, and if you like this kind of content, remember to like and subscribe. And I thank you guys for watching. I hope you have a fantastic day.